Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to We Are Soccer. Today, I'm lucky to be joined by U.S. men's national team player, Kellen Acosta. Kellen, you've been uh, here in Metro Detroit training with Next Level Training, Aaron and the guys. Um, you know, I know you're currently a free agent, so that's kind of weighing on your mind. But let's, let's jump in and just talk about the training you've been doing with Aaron and Next Level Training. How's that going so far, man? No, it's been great. He's been uh, kicking my butt, to say the least. But no, Aaron... And, and his staff are amazing. I mean, I've been seeing him for the past nine years now. Wow. So it's been uh, – it's not something that I just started, something I've been doing. And, yeah. you know, i got to credit a lot of my success to him. He's created good habits for myself. And and um, we've been putting a lot of work here in these fields. And, um, and I, I, I always love coming to Michigan. He's been trying to convert me to a, to a Lions fan, a, <laughs> a, a Michigan fan. So it's been great to kind of just not even on just on the field, but the off the field, just spending time with him and his family. It's been it's been a great time. That's awesome. Yeah, man. He uh, he's Aaron is one of the best around next level training. We know that. And there's a reason you keep coming back nine years in a row. That's incredible. Uh, now, you've been doing two, three day sessions in the last week here with Aaron. Um, you guys working on your touch, working on fitness, working on everything, and a little, little bit of everything, I assume. Yeah, correct. Yeah, a combination of uh, the latter, as you mentioned. I mean, going from a gym session to, you know, double session on the field with, you know, other college players and pros, is getting touches and repetition and creating good habits and um, building my fitness. But obviously just, I mean, for me, it's just, I just love being out here. I love the grind and, yeah. you know, just being around Aaron and what he's established and what he's built here. It's just been amazing. It's been amazing to be a part of. And, you know, I enjoy every second to be on the field because it's an opportunity for myself to get better. And what better way of, of doing that with, with the best guy around, as you mentioned, the guy that pushes me um, day in and day out. Every time I'm on the field, I mean, he demands a lot out of me, yeah. but he he's developed this um, – this, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. It's more just, not even just the physical part of it, but it's about the mental game. Yep. And he's like, kind of like established this routine in my head about just, just got to be better. It's you versus you, right? We always worry yep. about the external factors, but internally is what, what's going to drive you and push you forward. And he's really established this whole mindset that's can, been kind of just driving me throughout this off season. That's awesome. You know, the funny thing is I was watching you guys train a little bit today. Uh, and then as your session ended, the kids jumped in and my daughter's playing. So he, yeah. he jumps from, from pros to youth and he puts people, uh, no matter what age, what level, through the same paces, man. And he holds everybody to a high standard. That's, that's why he's one of the best around. thousand percent. He preaches accountability. And, I mean, for him, he, he'll raise his hand. I mean, from it doesn't matter who he's coaching, he gives it his all. Yep. I mean, I see the guy from – you know, 8 a.m. with his family all the way to 10 at night, consistently being the same person, smile on his face, joyful, happy, yep. giving everyone as much attention as possible, being attentive, being present. I mean, I got to give him a lot of credit because I don't think anyone could endure what he does every single day. <laughs> it's, it's quite remarkable, I yep. mean, how he goes about his routine every single day. He's a great player, a great uh, dude, great trainer, all around good guy. Uh, let's talk about you, my friend. Uh, uh, you're in free agency period right now, right? You got a couple of teams here in the MLS that are looking at you. I know, I, I, I don't know, but I assume there's a couple overseas. Uh, you haven't made a decision yet that uh, that you can tell us about. We won't pressure you, but uh, it, has it has the free agency period been enjoyable at least? Um, so you can weigh up your options and decide what you want to do next for your future. Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of both, I would say. I mean, one, just having the luxury to be able to choose your next destination. But two, that, you know, that uncertainty of where to go obviously weighs on you. So it's been difficult. I mean, every player has different circumstances, different aspirations. Um, you know, something that I've always um, spoken out loud about was, you know, I've always wanted to take my talents to Europe and just try it out and, and be uncomfortable and try to, um, you know, just push myself, and that's something that you know. So I'm keen on. Hopefully, that can come into fruition in, in the next days or so. But at the same time, I mean, I've established a great career here in the MLS. Yep. Um, you know, I have some viable options here as well, and and you know, the teams that are you know coming forward. I mean, I mean, I feel like anywhere that I go, I think it would be a great fit, and you know, I'll be making you know my decision in, in the next you know few days um, as a window closes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be an exciting year ahead, wherever I'm at. Um, you know, I'm excited. I'm going to put my best foot forward and give it my all. And, um, you know, hopefully a, a big year ahead. Uh, yeah. Not only for this year, 
you know, trying to put myself back in contention with the national team. And 2026 is around the corner. Yep. And I wouldn't, do, I would do myself a disservice not putting every bit of energy and and um, everything to, to get to that point and be be available for that squad. You, you took the words out of my mouth. Obviously, a big decision looming for you where you go next. Uh, but obviously, there's there's U.S. men's national team, the summer games that's happening in tournaments. Then there's, like you said, right around the corner, the big one at home here in the USA, the World Cup. Um, so you've got to make a decision that's going to best be best for you. Push yourself. I, l I love the words you used. Be uncomfortable. It'll get the best out of you. But is, is, does the U.S. men's national team, does that... Uh, does that weigh a little bit in, in, in this decision and, and where you could fit into that squad? Yeah, definitely. I want to put myself in the right position to be in contention for that squad. Um, but first and foremost, it's about what you do at your club, right? And it doesn't matter where you're at. If you're not playing, if you're not performing well, then it's going to be hard for, yeah. for the coaching staff to select you. Yeah. So I'm cognizant of, of where I want to be at, um, how the team is playing, and Obviously, I, I need to play at a high level to, to even be yep. be uh, available for selection. Yep. So, I mean, a lot of those things um, are, are playing a, a pivotal role in my decision. And, if, you know, if I'm being honest, I mean, last year wasn't the best of years personally for myself, and I know that. Um, and this year is another opportunity to put my best foot forward and, you know, get back into rhythm and get back into to game mode and, and play at my highest ability. And I think, you know, if I can, you know, play that I want to play at the highest level, um, you know, I have a really good shot of being back in the fold for the national team and obviously at the club level, you know, winning. And I think it's something that winning mentality goes a long way in being competitive. Absolutely. Have you had many conversations with uh, Greg Berhalter over the last several months about things? Uh, or is yeah, it just, I, just I, I don't know how he operates. Yeah, no, I mean, I had a conversation with him um, pre-MLS uh, Cup, um, you know, had some words there and then after. Um, MLS Cup as well, you know, mentioning what his plans are. He, uh, you know, he wanted to give me time to make sure I find the right team and hit the ground running and, you know, and be clear-headed as I go into 2024. Nice. Um, and, you know, he's a, he's a guy that's very transparent in what he demands from his players. So, you know, just had that conversation with him what was, you know, was great. Obviously, it was a little bit needed to, to you know, kind of get some insight of what he thought and his thoughts and what he kind of saw from me uh, or sees from me. And, yeah, and I thought it was a – it was a – positive conversation and and it's up to me to do the rest great that's that's what we like to hear a coach who can communicate uh and then obviously right he's looking for you to get the best out of yourself that he can bring you into the squad um speaking of that in the competition uh we'll, we'll go back i want to chat about some of the players i just watched you compete with down here at next level training in the little four on four three on three sessions you guys do it, it's some of the players here are you you're not from michigan obviously but some of the players you've seen over the years this is a hotbed of soccer that I think is really untapped. A thousand percent. I mean, I think a lot of it's untapped because there's not an MLS market here. Yeah. And so I think what the closest team might be Columbus, which yep. is or Chicago, which yep. is probably a few hours away. But just being here and just growing up essentially with some of the some of the people here. I mean, there's so much talent here. I mean, there's guys here without teams, and I'm so shocked because I feel like they can even be on MLS sides, let right. alone USL or or whatever yeah and so it's I mean one it's sad to see um that these guys aren't getting the opportunities that they deserve but at the same time there's a lot of promise there's a lot of positivity because the level here is is just that great and and it's actually quite funny just seeing how many people are actually from Michigan you had no idea there's a lot of pros from from MLS to uh, I have ties to Michigan from MLS to yeah. NDOSL to USL there's quite a few yeah. and um it's always interesting just to kind of, you know, cross paths with different players from, from all over, from people that I played against um, in the academy days to yeah. club level to all the way up to, to MLS. Just coming here at, you know, NLT next level, um, it's cool kind of just coming full, full circle. Yeah, it's, it's been fun growing up here and watching some of the talent that just emerges, and it's only getting better with the youth clubs that are around here, and uh, and, and Aaron helps all of that uh, with everything. Uh, listen, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I could talk to you all day. Uh, we could go into formations. We could go into stats. We could go everything. I don't want to do that. But uh, what, what I do like to ask a lot of my guests is, um, uh, Kellen, it, if, if you had to talk to a group of eight-year-olds um, and they're looking to get to the level you're at, the U.S. men's national team level, playing for their nation in the World Cup like you've done. Um, what, what advice would you give? What should they be working on on a daily basis or on a weekly basis? And what kind of mindset should they have? 
to always do more. I think sometimes we get content with what's going on around us in terms of maybe you train twice a week with the team, three times a week, but it's about doing more. I think when I come here and seeing the kids doing extra skill session, sessions with N- NLT, I think yep. that's huge. That's a first step. Yep. Second step is when you're out here is making the best of every opportunity. Um, it's creating good habits. It's about repetition. It's about listening, being coachable. And, I mean, the last thing, which is probably the most important, is executing, hmm. right? I think we can say all these things. It's about trying. Yep. Mistakes happen. We all make mistakes, even myself at the highest level. I've made my fair share of mistakes. But it's about trying. It's about picking yourself up and going again yep. and again and again and again. And once you lay a solid foundation, um, especially at the youth level with you know skills and, and that, and it's about stacking and some building, right? And for, for myself, I mean, nine years ago, I laid this foundation down, and I just kept building and building and – and um, not to discredit my previous coaches before next level, but um, but yeah, it's just about just creating that foundation. It's creating this brick yep. by brick, keeping grinding and grinding, and you know, good things will happen from that. Things I, will come to fruition, and yep. hopefully, some some positive things. I absolutely love that. I love that answer, um, kids. You heard it. You know, keep grinding. Get enjoy that process. Uh, get get to it. Don't. Be stale. Don't be stagnant. Get out there. And, and on the days off, there are no days off, right? It's and just, uh, and just love it too. Yeah. I, mean, that's, I mean, you don't want to do something because your parents said so, right? In a sense, right? You got to listen yep. to your parents, but <laughs> you also have to really enjoy it. Yep. And I think you know it makes it that much sweeter when you know how much work you put into it. I mean, for me, working super hard, grinding, sweating three sessions. And knowing what can come out come out of it just makes that so much sweeter. Yeah, man, absolutely awesome. Uh, definitely, again, thank you to Aaron and Next Level Training uh, for hooking us up here with uh, Kellen Acosta, U.S. Men's National Team player. Kellen, uh, you've got some big decisions to make in the next couple of days. We wish you the best of luck. We hope we're, uh, we're watching you play where you want to go and is the best for you. And then we're going to keep an eye on it because I think you're going to be in that 2026 squad hit, uh, that's going to be for the U.S. Men's National Team here at the World Cup. So best of luck, my friend. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.